I believe? I believe. Okay, I believe because I've seen, but I had to believe even before I saw, because that's what the faith is, right? The Lord told me years ago through the new song and the new dance, he would heal us. And that has been my experience teaching in the prayer houses in Israel to the nations. He told me to do it specific for married couples. Husbands and wives would be singing a new song and doing a new dance yeah. over one another, and they would be healed. And that has been the testimony. Wow. My life, my experience with Yeshua and with Abba, Father, and Holy Spirit is one step at a time. But I'm not, no pun intended. Really, this is a literal. It is. It's one step, it's one step at a time. Yeah. One step at a time. And if we try to figure out everything, it's not the Lord that's working. Mm -hmm. It's not about figuring out. Right. It's not about that. It's not. It's, Lord, what are you saying? Mm -hmm. And there's many stories of people in the Bible who did not feel that they were equipped mm -hmm. to do what they're called to do. But if you're called, you are equipped. Amen. Mm -hmm. right. And God has made us ready. Amen. But our part is the agreement. Right. The agreement mm -hmm. with God's plan. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I agree. Mm -hmm. I will do what you want me to do. Yes, yes Lord. I spoke about this earlier this summer that I thought I was crazy to come to the States for two and a half months with no money. So I work in prayer houses as no income. So my profession of 30 years, I do free of charge because the Lord put it in my heart to serve the body of Christ in the prayer houses where there's no income. So that is a walk or dance of faith. Mm -hmm. And I've said this before, and I don't mean it in a negative way. I have died another death in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And it's not meant as a negative thing at all. I have really, I never was a materialistic person. Mm -hmm. But all the more now, it's like, it's really, it's like, my life is about him and serving him. If he wants to uproot me tomorrow, whatever he wants to do. Yeah. This is a life that's Lord, devoted yeah. to God. I am so far from perfect. The Bible says, everyone has fallen short. There's yes. no perfect one but Yeshua. Right. We are perfectly imperfect. I like to say that. And God loves us in our perfections, right? But he loves us so much that he saved us so through Yeshua so that we could come into everything that he has for us. Amen. So yesterday, as I always do, I stand up and I say, Lord, I receive the message that you have for tomorrow, which is today. And, you know, I don't know what that is. And I just prepare. I was laughing. Just laughter came over me, Celeste, when you were introducing me. It was because I'm like, she does understand. She knows. She knows. She knows. I was just laughing because the Lord just brought up this healing laughter. Yeah. And many years ago, I was in this um, professional Christian theater company in New York City. And this young pastor who was a member of the company, out of the blue, so it seemed, he said to me, you know, God doesn't just heal through tears. He heals through laughter. Yeah. And I thought, first of all, I didn't understand it. This was many years ago. And I just, I, just like, but I realized now it was Holy Spirit mm -hmm. speaking through this man. Because years later now, and I am moving in the prophetic, I understand, oh my God, God heals through laughter. Mm -hmm. And I always, I didn't understand mm -hmm. the word prophetic. So I said, God speaks to me in pictures. Because I didn't know this word prophetic. He speaks to me in pictures. And when I dance, the Holy Spirit leads me. I let the Spirit of God move me because I'm yielded to the Holy Spirit. But outside of dancing, I don't think I was really living a prophetic life. But when I moved to Jerusalem and I got around some people who are on fire in the Spirit yeah. prophetically, everything that was in me from before I was born, wow. it was that it was nurtured now wow. to come out. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I have a destiny anointing. The Lord told me that. And yes. I believe that that was transferred to me. Amen. The people still have it, that, but they laid hands on me. Amen. And I said, what's destiny anointing? But the Lord explained. He's called me to dance people into destiny. Mm -hmm. To pray them into destiny. To speak them into destiny. I, I, my whole call is to release people to come as a child. And that's a prerequisite. Mm -hmm. You cannot get your breakthrough if you don't come as a child. Right. It's impossible. And the proverb says, fear of man is a snare. Wow. So if you're concerned about what your neighbor thinks of mm -hmm. you, anybody thinks of you, I'm sorry, but you will not come into your destiny. You have, so the prophetic dance watch that I teach, Unlocking Destinies, Releasing the River, it's like God has put a key in my hand to come alongside you, to support you, to unlock that destiny. How? Through using your voice. And I've said this before, people might think, you know, getting you up to dance might be a big deal, maybe you're not a dancer. What is even more challenging is getting you to raise your voice and worship God 
and worship the King of Kings and keep your voice up at this volume and talk to God and praise Him. Because when you do that, the Bible says all over the Psalms, sing and dance to the Lord. It says lift up your voice, shout to the Lord. Because when you shout, those demons have to flee. They have to flee. Because the darkness cannot stand in the presence of light. And so somewhere along the line, we believe this lie that we are worthless. We're, we have no value. And the lies are, sit down, shut up. You have nothing of value to say. But the truth is, so when we come together in these prophetic meetings, in these dance watches, when we come together... Thank you, Lord, that I'm not going to lose my train of thought. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Father. I'm very easily distracted. So thank you, Lord, for putting my thoughts back into my head, Lord. Hallelujah. Because I have so many things to say. Thank you, Jesus. So when we lift up our voice, we get set free. And the Bible says to speak the things that are not as though they are. That is living the prophetic lifestyle. When you wake up in the morning and you say, thank you, Lord, that I hear with your ears. I speak with your words. I think with your thoughts. I feel with your heartbeat. All of those things, you are, you are, you are. And then I lay down my will to take up your will. Because God wants us to have his heart. He wants us to have his heartbeat. And that's what the prophetic is. So the prophetic dance is bringing forth the heart of the Father here and now. Amen. The prophetic song is bringing forth the heart of the Father through the voice. So when we put the two together, husbands, wives, cowboys, 85 plus year olds, everybody, anybody is getting set free. Amen. And what's the prerequisite? Come as a child. Because when we come as a child, we have died to what man thinks of us. And so when I do these watches in Jerusalem and in the nations, that's the prerequisite. We must come as a child. Otherwise, we're not going to get a breakthrough. So we practice the prophetic. Now, the prophetic and speaking words of life and faith, we're not saying your husband is name or your middle. We're saying things in the word of God. Amen. We're saying things that line up with God's word. And it's very, very important. My barometer is God loves me. That's my barometer. Keep it simple. Yeah. God, my father loves me. So any thought that comes into my mind that doesn't line up with that, give right. it to the pit okay. immediately. Amen. Immediately. Mm -hmm. You know, because we're saved... The enemy doesn't come in through the front door. He comes in through the back door. We really need to be on guard. We really need to be on guard. And if we're on guard, we can help a friend who's just about to take a fall because they don't see that they're in the middle of an attack. And that's happened to me this week. I, I, I was attacked very badly. I'm just, just coming out of it. But none of it is wasted. Why? The devil is God's devil. The devil's just doing his job. He's a liar. He's a thief. He doesn't do anything new. He doesn't get to sing the new song that we do. He doesn't do a new <laughs> dance. None of it. He's doing his job being the devil. Right? But God uses him to bring up the dross. The stuff that does not need to be in our lives. Because God wants to redeem every part of us. Amen. For his glory. Amen. And so last night... Um, when I was in bed, before I went to bed, I was really suffering, really struggling with what had happened. And it's, it's like, Holy Spirit, because I wanted God to help me. And that's key. We have to want God mm -hmm. to help us. Help! It's the shortest and most effective prayer. Yes. Help! You know? yes. So it's like a microscope. Holy Spirit was going like a microscope in my heart. Mm. And he was showing me, and I was getting a sense of this part of me that still yet needs healing, which is the part of me that feels like maybe I'm all alone in this world, all by myself. Now, that's that's not true. That's a lie. But, but, we must acknowledge the feeling so we can bring that feeling to God and say, God, where is that coming from? What, what started that? We can ask God, take me back to that place. Why? Because I want to get healed. Because I want to get healed. And I've had so much healing. I don't even recognize myself from when I moved to Israel eight years ago. So much healing. And this, so this piece is important. And so God uses attacks from the enemy. Mm -hmm. There's something redemptive in there. Amen. You know, and that's hard to hear. It's hard to hear when we're going through it. There's something redemptive in there. You know, that's why he's God's devil. Even though he was dropped from heaven and he'll never have, we have, he'll never, he doesn't have our inheritance. Never, ever, ever. That's why 
Jacob tries to make us miserable because he, he can't, there's nothing he can do. He'll never sing and dance the new song and dance. He'll never. But we are victorious. Can we just shout that? Yeah. We, we are victorious. We are victorious. We are victorious. We are victorious. We know we, are we have victorious. got to raise our voices. Yes. There is so much freedom. Yes. So when I do yes. these watches, these um, creative, moving, prophetic dance watches, we use our voice, and it's very, very challenging for people. It's more challenging than getting a cowboy to dance or, or a Norwegian who's known to be very conservative. It's even more challenging because we have listened to a lie, and it's like a soul tie, and we have to cut it off. Yes. Shh, don't talk. Don't speak. You have nothing of value mm. to say. That's a life in the pit of hell, and you got to yes. kick it out. Yes. You have to send that thing yes. reeling. Yes. You must send it reeling. You must send it real. Can we stand up for a minute, everybody? All right. Let's stand up. Yeah, I just want us to raise our voices, and I just want us to worship God. Let's just take a few minutes, just worship God. Let's call out his attributes. Let's thank him for who he is and what he's done. Hallelujah. You are Thank you so much. You are kind. You are God of second chances. You are forgiveness, Lord God. You are the greatest Father that we can You are fun. You are love. Thank you for the sharing the word of God. You are funny. You have a great sense of humor. You are my company, my friend, my ass. To life. You are my guide, you are my friend, you are my playmate, you are my companion, you are the one that sets the course of my life into motion, you are the one that holds my hands and takes that next step when I'm afraid, you are the one who is our refuge, our strong power, you are the one who we can stand on in times of trouble, you are the rock. Thank you you are the solid hands, rock that I can hold and my reach up and take hold of our inheritance. The shoe is our inheritance, but the shoe brings us many years. So let's take hold of our inheritance. Let's just yes. reach up to the sky and let's take hold of it now. I want you to imagine now everything that you long for in your heart. Because if you are sold out for Yeshua, for Jesus, everything in your heart lines up with the word of God. And I declare and decree that God loves you so much, he would not allow you to go astray. And if you, if you harden your heart, he loves you so much. He will, even if there's just a little flicker of a flame in you, he will ignite that. So in the name of Yeshua, Father, we picture all the things that you put in our heart, our longings and our desires, And your desires, Father. And we just take hold of them right now. We just picture them. Let's just see all those things in the spiritual realm. Let's see all of them. Let's just take it. Let's pull it down. Let's pull it down. Let's put it in our heart. And say, thank you, Father. Thank you for everything that we need. And I want you to declare. You know, I was reading in the Psalms. It says, my tongue is the pen of my mouth. It is the pen of a ready writer. Right? Is that it? My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Why is that so important? That tells us, tongue, mouth, we must declare. Yes. And, and people, there are people who really believe that there is a frequency. You see, we see each other in the natural, right? Mm -hmm. And so, but the thing is, this isn't our reality. Mm -hmm. This is how we are now. But our reality is the eternal. Amen. Yeah. Unseen presence. Thank you. Our reality is the eternal. Yes. All things pass away, but the word of God Amen. remains Amen. forever. Amen. And that's why when things are tough here, we, we can I, quickly, as quick as we can, identify with Yeshua, identify with his sufferings, Amen. knowing that it'll pass, but also we identify with his joys. Hallelujah. And life is not meant Amen. to be easy. He Amen. didn't put us here so we could be happy. That's not the all end all. It's nice when we're in that mountaintop experience, mm. but we grow in the valleys, and we all know that. Yes, we all yes. know that. So we can thank him. Father, I thank, thank you for my valley. I thank Lord. you for my I valley, Lord God. Lord God. But Father, thank you that you bring jewels thank you. out thank you of you my darkness. And the Bible says treasures in hidden yes. places, in secret places. Yes. 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 Secret treasures places. at our Jesus. secret places, yes. brothers and sisters. Yes. 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 Let's just give the Lord a big hand. Guys, I just want you to let the sound out. Let's just hoot and howl. Let it out. Do you know that when you're doing that, you are breaking, you are breaking off the shackles? Let's just do it.
Let's shout out. Thank you for being to see my four children praising the Lord, lifting their hands high in the praise for their Lord, their God, their Savior, Jesus Christ. That they would even lead others to the saving truth of Jesus Christ. That they would be set free and be called into their destiny, Jesus. That they would be successful in their businesses, in their career paths, Father. That you would stir up the gifts in each of them that you made in them, Father, so that they would be whole and they would be operating in all the gifts that you put before them. To, to for themselves, for their own purpose, Can and for others hand? around them, Father God. Woo because I don't have an oppressive yeah. spirit. Okay, now. And that's why I don't have any friends in the pit of hell. Thank you, God. Yeah. The enemy hates what I do. Exactly. Because spirits of religion or witchcraft, which is control and manipulation, mm. the enemy doesn't want God's yeah. people free. Yeah. 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 Very true. But we need to be free. Amen. Why do we need to be free? Let's just go around and say one quickly. What? So we can serve him. Celeste, why do we need to be free? First thing so we can have joy. joy. So we can have joy. To bring healing to, to people. To bring healing to people. Why do we need to be free? Heal myself. To Amen. heal myself. Amen. Amen. Why to, do you need to be free? To uplift his name. To uplift Amen. his name. Why do you need to be free? Glorify healing. Heal. Amen. Why do you need to be free, sister? To show the world who he is. To show Amen. the world who he is. Why do you need to be free? Destiny. 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 Okay. Oh, we are. Yes, honey. Okay, they're wanting one and 